everyone this is knowledge topper and in this video we are looking at the differences between system software and application software I will explain you with the help of an example so you can easily understand the difference between two of them so let's get into this video so if we talk about the basic difference between two of them like as written here system software manages system resources and provides a platform for application software to run Whereas if you talk about application software, application software when run perform a specific task they are designed for. If we talk about further related to this, like system software is designed to manage the system resources like you can say to manage memory of system, processing of system, protection related to systems and uh, security related to systems etc. And uh, it also provides the platform for the application software to run. On the other hand, if we talk about application software, it is designed to meet the user requirements of performing specific tasks. Like it may be a computing software, it may be an editing software, it may be a designing software, uh, etc. etc. That means each application software is designed for a specific purpose. Like if I explain you easily, let's let's take an example of car. You know, a car cannot run without installing a battery. Same as in the case of system software, a system software is necessary for our system to work. Uh, on the other hand, there's video player, charger, lights, all installed in the car. So these all are like application software. Like they work for a specific task. Like if you need to listen songs, you can play audio or video player. So if there is no battery in car, means all other things like video player, lights, charger, etc. cannot run. So if there is no system application software, then software application also cannot run. So system software provides the platform for the application software to run. Um, now if we talk about the second difference that is uh, language. Uh, system software is written in a low level language i.e. you can say assembly language. On the other hand application software is written, is written in a higher level language like Java, C++, .NET, VB etc. Uh, if I talk about uh, assembly language uh, to, uh, to explain you uh, so you can easily understand about assembly language like I know that most of uh, you don't know about assembly language so like there is a strong correspondence between the system software as well as architectures machine code instructions so it is a match between or you can say a correspondence between two of them so if we talk about uh, the third difference like uh, the system software starts running as the system is powered on and run till the system is powered off uh, the application software starts when the user is started and stops when the user stops it so if we talk about the fourth step, the fourth difference, that is requirement, like uh, a system uh, is unable to run without system software. On the other hand, application software is even not required to run the system, it is user passive because they are meant only for the users. Then if we talk about the fifth difference, uh, like uh, system software is general purpose software. Uh, on the other hand, application software is a specific purpose software, we already discussed about that. Uh, and uh, if you talk about the examples like operating system means that there is windows installed in your computer so it is an example of um, uh, system software like uh, op all operating software all operating system uh, is an example of uh, system software and um, on the other hand if you talk about application software uh, examples like Microsoft Access Microsoft Office uh, and uh, related to all that uh, software like Access uh, Excel PowerPoint they all are application software and Photoshop uh, animation software etc etc because they are required uh, to use for a specific purpose you know that and um, they are designed to use for a specific purpose so uh, there, here's a video for all of you guys uh, if I would like to conclude this uh, like um, both the system software and the application software together make a system useful for the end user the system software is compulsory for the system to work and um, the application software are necessary for the user to perform their specific task. So this is the video for all of you guys. So hope you learn uh, a lot. Hope you understand this easily. And uh, if you like this video, do subscribe our channel Knowledge Topper as well as join our Facebook group and like our Facebook page Knowledge Topper as well. So this is the video. Thank you so much everyone. It's time to say bye-bye.